video, we will be using a photo album and applying laser lights to it, which is like a metallic appearing substance. It's actually a, a plastic. What I need to do first is to make this level. Because it is like, like a book, it is not level. And I have estimated that if I put in this box with a little pad of post-it notes there, now I am essentially level going across. We need it level to apply the laser foil. We also need it level in the laser bed so that the engraving is done evenly. I have my CorelDRAW file open and I'm looking on my screen and I can tell that the part that is going to require the laser foil starts about five inches down from the top. So I have my ruler to help guide me. I know the design will start at about the five inch point and go down. So the laser foil comes in a long tube. I've cut off um, just a piece of it to make it easier to work with. Now it has a backing on it because the laser foil is adhesive. So what I will do now is to cut this even shorter so it fits on my photo album. And this laser foil comes in a width of six inches. So this is six inches, and I'm going to need just about all of that. So I don't need to cut it um, any thinner. I need the entire expanse. So I will start with the laser foil. Depending upon what kind of substrate you're using, if you can make a mark or not. Since this is wood, I'm going to make a mark at about the five inch line that I know I can erase. I know you cannot see the mark on the camera, but I know that it is there. Now I want to show you something on this little scrap piece of laser, laser foil that I have. Taking it off of the adhesive, you need to be careful. What I did was I wasn't very careful when I took it off, so it, it creased. You can see that crease mark. This works very similar to aluminum foil in that if you make a crease in it, it's there. You cannot get it back out. So when you're working with it, be careful to uh, not bend it in places where you don't want it. You don't want to make any unnecessary creases because those will stay in there. And as you can see, the laser foil sticks to itself. So you need to be careful when laying it down, trying, of course, to get it in the right location on the first try. So I will remove the laser foil from the backing, again carefully, so as to not make a crease. I will start by rolling it from the center and laying it out. So again, I need to look at my mark that I have. And roll it out. And carefully, I don't press hard yet because what I'm trying to do right now is just making sure I don't have any air bubbles. I want to work those out first before I really get in there and really flatten it down. And I have a big one on this side, so I need it to lift it up again. I'm going to help it lay down. All right, so I have a laser foil on. I will work it onto the substrate then I put it in my laser bed and what I will do then is I'll come back after it has been engraved and show you how to remove the excess laser foil that is not needed 
Okay, we're back with the photo album, and it says uh, floral photos up here engraved, and then we down here have the laser foil. So what we need to do is to remove the excess. You'll want to do this fairly soon after it has been cut, as the longer it stays on, uh, the more adhesive it is. And as you're taking up the excess, you don't want to go too fast because then you might accidentally lift up pieces that you want to stay on. And here we have the completed photo album with all the excess laser foil removed. And it adds such a nice pop to the wood grain here on the photo album. Thank you for watching.